Congressman, uh, you sort of made the joke, which luckily turned into a joke, about being here still for the 3 a.m. phone call that she was going to get. But, but it was a long hearing. There was a lot discussed. Um, I know that your role was to talk a lot about how it was political, since you are on the Democratic side. Uh, but there were a few things that came up and came through uh, with the hours and hours uh, of hearing. Did you learn anything new? No, I mean, this is the thing. Um, we really didn't learn anything that the other eight investigations hadn't covered. Uh, for all the talk about the 50 witnesses we interviewed and all the emails that we saw, um, there was really nothing that my colleagues could point to that was new or shed different light on the events that happened or altered any conclusions of these other reports. Uh, so I have to say, I don't think we've shown uh, much of uh, any progress, and for all the time and money put into it, uh, that's very disappointing. Now, uh, one of your colleagues on the Republican side, Congresswoman Brooks, was questioning the secretary about uh, her communication with Chris Stevens, the ambassador who, who died in this, in this horrible tragedy. And it, it was a bit surprising that she didn't seem to remember any communication with him. It had to have surprised you. Well, you know, I don't think they had an email communication. I, I don't know. But it wasn't just about email. It was any communication. Yeah, I, I don't know, and I, I don't want to speak for the secretary in terms of uh, I don't recall uh, precisely whether she had talked with him or not talked with him. Um, but she did make it very clear in terms of the issue that we're concerned about here um, that he never did communicate uh, directly with her on security. And he knew a way to reach her. Uh, but I think it's quite apparent that the ambassador felt that uh, that was not the appropriate level to make the decisions about security, that the, uh, the Office of Dip Diplomatic Security was the right venue for that. Uh, I think that's who he interacted with. Uh, and I think it's quite telling that that's exactly who he thought he ought to reach out to on that issue. And the fact that there were so many requests for security, I mean, maybe she's not responsible for security, maybe she is, but the fact that there were so many requests that went unanswered, as somebody who is a member of this oversight committee, this select committee, that has to bother you. Well, it absolutely bothers me. Um, but again, that is something that the Accountability Review Board looked into extensively. They were deeply critical of the State Department, deeply critical of uh, how the Security Office handled those requests. Uh, those requests should have been met, uh, and they weren't. Uh, so. Uh, I certainly agree it does concern me a great deal, um, but that's not new ground. Uh, we've known that for years now. We've known that those mistakes were made, uh, and they were serious mistakes. Okay. Thank you very much, Congressman. Appreciate it. Anderson, back to you. All right,